Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called The Zone by The Weeknd. And we're going to end up capling this on 6th fret to kind of match the recording, but we're going to start on an F major chord. And if you know the bar F major, we're talking about an easy way to play this, but if you know the bar, you do 1st finger across the entire 1st fret, 2nd finger on the G string, 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the A string, 3rd fret, and the pinky on the D string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. A good substitute for that, though, is something called F major 7, where we play F major 7. First finger goes to the B string on the 1st fret, second finger on the G string on the 2nd fret, and third finger on the D string on the 3rd fret. And if you show them just the D, G, B, and E, that sounds like F major 7. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the F, we kind of are on our verse chorus, we're going to go into an A minor chord. We play A minor. First finger stays on the B string 1st fret, second finger on the D on the 2nd fret, third finger on the G string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And that's a lot of our song, actually, is just kind of going between the F, 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 A minor, A minor. But a lot of times with a song like this, though, to make it more interesting, I like it using some things called strum patterns to, to make them up. Uh, more interesting. And one of my favorite 4 4 strum patterns is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the F and just tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we tried that through our verse chorus. We'd have F with a down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down. Strum pattern I would think about using with the song though because of the feel of the drums is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the F and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing it down on one, down on three, up on four. So one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing it up on two, down on three. So you're doing one, up, down, one, up, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then on the last beat, you're going one, two, uh, down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you got long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. So we try that through our verse chorus. We got that for the down. Too. And then we're basically going to be repeating that until we get to our bridge part. And on our bridge part, we go to a D minor chord. When we play D minor, first finger goes to the high E on the first fret, second finger goes to the G string on the second fret, and the third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you show them just the D, G, B, and E, then that sounds like D minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the D minor in the bridge, we go to the F major, and then we end up back on our A minor and another A minor. And actually, later on in the tune, you may want to stay on the D minor instead of doing the F change, actually, for the second bridge. It almost sounds like it, it, like it stays on D minor later on. But if we tried that with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have D minor with a down, down, up, up, down, up, F. Now, 
the weird part is, oh, or if we try it with our 16th pattern, we have D minor down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. part is to play along with the weekend though, instead of starting on an F major chord, they're actually starting on a, a B major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 6th fret, then now your F is really a B major chord, and your A minor is really a D sharp minor chord, and your D minor is really a G sharp minor chord. But if we did it from the very beginning, that way you could work it as just the down, down, up, up, down, up, and you'd have F with a D. Until we get to our bridge, so we draw our bridge with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We have D minor with the down, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down. Or if we try it with our 16th, we have D minor with the down. Song though is bass. Now something else you may want to think about trying to add to the song though too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that very first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass note for the chords. On the F, if you're doing the bar, you do the low E string for your bass. So you have low E bass, down, up, up, down, up on the F major 7, you have the D for your bass. So you do the D bass, down, up, up, down, but on the A minor, you have the A string for your bass. A bass down, up, up, down, but on the D minor you have the D string for your bass. So we tried our verse chords with basses, we'd have F for the bass. Down, up, up, down, F for the bass. Down, up, up, down, A minor with the D bass. Down, up, up, down, A minor with the D bass. Down, up, up, down, F for the bass. Down, up, up, down, F for the bass. Down, up, up, down, A minor with the D bass. Down, up, up, down, A minor with the D bass. Down, Try our 16th pattern, we could add basses to that too by doing kind of a bass down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or sometimes I like bass, bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or even bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down, full pattern too. So we have that for the bass, bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, bass, bass, down, down, up, bass, down, up, down, 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 Try that with our bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have D minor with the bass. Down, up, down, up, down, up for the bass. Down, up, up, down, 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 bass. Down, up, up, down, 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 bass. Down, up, up, down, up. If we try that with our 16th pattern, we'd have D minor. After that bridge, then there, there's this cool little break, and actually there's some really cool little guitar riffs you may want to try and think about adding in too. There's some licks where you play open E, and then third fret on the B string, and then first fret on the B string twice, and then we go open B, 
and then it's second fret on the G string. And sometimes that second fret on the G string actually later on gets substituted for an open G string. And then open G. So, so you may want to play around with that. There's another lick where you can play open B, and then first fret on the B, and then third fret on the D, and then second fret on the D. It kind of happens later on. And then there's a solo break actually where there's some really cool licks too, where you'll kind of hear you go first fret on the B, third fret on the D, open B, open G, second fret on the D. And then there's this recurring lick that happens later on where you play open D, open G, second fret on the D, and then you can kind of repeat that actually, that kind of comes back, that D, open G, second fret on the D. And there's a tag to that where you can play open G, and then open D, kind of before you start that D, G, E. So you want to kind of play around with those, those looks to kind of add in. And those notes are all coming out of something called a C major scale. So if you wanted to jam over this a little bit, the notes of, it, of what we're thinking of as a C major scale, we're actually going to be playing an F sharp major scale because we're starting on an F sharp instead of a C. But you have the open E, first fret on the low E, third fret on the low E, and then the open A, second on the A, third on the A, open D, second on the D, third on the D, open G, second on the G, open B, first fret on the B, third fret on the B, open E, first fret on the E, and then third fret on the high E. And I'm really kind of thinking E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, even though we're really kind of in an F sharp major scale. And you're really playing A sharp and a B and a C sharp and a uh, D sharp and, and an F and, and an F sharp and, 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 and different notes. Um, but, but what can be really cool though is to kind of play around with the bass notes that we were playing with. You can kind of play with that that that. E on an F note, for instance, on the low E string for kind of your bass note, and then kind of try and work the licks around that to the open A. So I'm kind of working the low E string on the first fret, and then for the F note to kind of imply it, and then the open A to kind of imply the A minor when that change happens. So you can kind of take all those licks, actually, and I'm kind of doing this hybrid picking where I'm kind of playing the notes with my fingers and kind of working the, the, the bass notes with my pick. Um, but but you may want to even you might even want to kind of play around with that as, as kind of a finger style idea too. And you could even kind of make up licks in that scale too. So the idea here is almost like a solo arranging idea where you could play the bass note to imply your chord and then make up stuff in the scale. I just think that would be a really cool thing for those open spaces, or if you're trying to kind of figure out a way, a way to, to, kind of, to kind of work it as kind of a solo guitar arrangement. But that's the basis of how you can strum through and, and play through the zone by the weekend. So good luck!